The picture that NASA chose to celebrate the first year of James Webb observations was this picture called Rho Ophiuchus. And this is the Rho Ophiuchus star forming region. It's only located less than 400 light years away from Earth. And it is the closest star forming region to Earth. So we've had like the biggest, the best known, the one that was made iconic by Hubble, and now we've got the closest star forming region. It's a very small star forming region. There's only one star that is like the size of the sun or larger. And it's the one that dominates the lower left of this image. And the rest are smaller that probably turn into red dwarfs over time. Thanks again to the infrared view, we can see through all of that gas and dust and to be able to see the star underneath. And one of the things I really love about Rho Fucus, like this is an image again that you can take a picture of with a small telescope or if you've got a digital camera and a good tripod during the summertime when the Milky Way is overhead, you can take a picture and see this incredible region just in the Milky Way. It's such a great object, very famous. All right. We've looked at all the pretty pictures. There's lots more pretty pictures to come, but let's really talk about the science. So let's look at the scientific capability that Webb was designed to fulfill. And this is to use its infrared instruments to look back to the beginning of the universe, the time when all of the building blocks of the modern galaxies that we see today, that they were all coming together. And this is because the universe has been expanding over time. And the light that's been coming from different objects has been redshifted. And so even though it may have started out in the ultraviolet or in the visible light spectrum, over the billions and billions of years of the expansion of the universe, the light has become Become more and more redshifted. Things that were in the visible light 13 billion years ago are into the infrared today. And so it requires an infrared instrument to be able to see that far back in time to that great distance. 